Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a video that nobody asked for. Do you notice anything different right now? I got a haircut. It's a little shorter now, but it's nice. I keep it medium length, but yeah. So, guys, I'm in a good mood today. So I decided to do a little, just a little video. There's a squirrel outside. Ugh. Anyway, so I just want this video to be a little laid back. Just gonna relax in this video. Nothing too serious. So we just crossed 150 subscribers. Yay. <laughs> so I decided for my new subscribers, I wanted to welcome them, but I didn't know how. So I thought, oh my god, this squirrel doesn't know when to shut up. In this video, I'm going to do the get to know me tag. So, you know, just I picked out a few questions. I've written them, I've written them all down and I'm just gonna answer them. I don't have a lot, so I just picked out questions that I get frequently, like FAQs. So I just picked according to that and I thought that would be a nice way to introduce myself. What's your name and are you proud of it? So my name is Amy and am I proud of it? I am. It's, it's a unique name because Amy is not an Indian name. I mean, you guys have guessed it. It's not an Indian name, so it's quite unique. If people who are not familiar with Hollywood movies or uh, just the name in general, it piques the interest because the moment they hear the word Amy, they're like, what? They automatically assume that I'm not from India. <laughs> I think it's quite it's quite a unique name. It's short and sweet. It's not that difficult to pronounce as well. But as you know, like since it's not a common name here, so for some people it's a little difficult to pronounce because instead of calling me Amy, they call me Ami or uh, Ami Ami. <laughs> I actually made a video on this about my name and uncommon names so i link that video in the description and and above so you guys can go watch it what is the meaning of your name so my name means beloved when were you born 24 september 1995 so currently i'm 23 years old i'll be 24 next month please wish me thank you where are you from so i'm from new delhi india I was born and raised here, I did all my education and stuff from here itself. How tall are you? I'm 5'3", or you can say 160 centimeters. I think in India, it's the average height. I'm not sure, you can correct me, I don't know. It might be the average height or maybe a little taller, but yeah. What's your personality type? I'm an ENFP, so, and there are times where there are times where I'm ENFJ, so it's sometimes I'm ENFP, ENFJ, depending on my, depends on my mood and stuff, it changes. For you guys who don't know what I'm talking about, I'm basically talking about the MBTI, the Myers-Briggs Personality Indicator. So the test basically tells you whether you're an introvert or an extrovert, how you make decisions and all that stuff. So I'll put the link to the test in the description below so you guys can go find out what your personality type. What was the greatest achievement in high school? graduation what did you major in in college so uh the course that i did in call in college or university where uh, i had to choose two core disciplines so i basically did english and psychology what's your biggest fear it keeps changing to be honest i mean i mean there are a lot of fears like i have a fear of snakes and uh, I also have a fear which is currently ongoing. It's like I have a fear that a plane will crash down my room. That used to be one of my biggest fears earlier but then I realized that uh, I came across this book called Ikigai. Some of you might have read it in that it talked about how people are scared of death when at the end people are going to die anyway so what's the point of being scared of it? And I'm just like wait you're right. At the moment my biggest fear is 
being abandoned or left alone so yeah so that's my biggest fear dogs or cats favorite breed i prefer dogs i mean i don't mind cats as well but i'm not that fond of them <laughs> i have two favorite breeds and they are golden retrievers and samoyed i don't know if samoyed i don't know if i said that right but yeah they are my favorite breeds so yeah i like fluffy dogs favorite music genre so i listen to all kinds of music i don't have a favorite favorite because it depends on my mood but currently i'm listening to a sub genre of a uh, edm i'm listening to electro pop chill wave chill and electro chill basically that side of music you can call i mean you can describe them as soft edm you can say i mean that's how i describe them but yeah that's the kind of music i listen to i can link down my spotify playlist it will give you a general idea of what kind of music i listen to favorite movie genre so again i watch all kinds of movies except romance i can't watch romance at all i don't know why it's not my cup of tea i mean i can't even watch rom com like anything with romance i can't watch it i don't know not not my i'm not interested in that but my uh like my top genres would be action uh horror sci-fi yeah i think these three am i top 3 genres favorite color black and blue how many languages can you speak so i'm fluent in hindi and english hindi being one of the languages in india then I, as well as the national language so i'm fluent in both and i am learning japanese so like i'm not fluent in japanese but i so uh, i am not fluent in japanese but i know enough to get by what was your dream as a kid growing up i've been exposed to art as well as performing arts so it kept changing at first when i when i was quite young i wanted to be an artist like paintings and stuff artist then i picked on dancing so i wanted to be a dancer so <laughs> and then After that I picked up music and I wanted to be a musician. Music, art and dance. These three were pretty much what I wanted to expand in. Have you ever failed at anything? Life. Who is your celebrity crush? It's Yoongi Min or Sugar Min Yoongi. If you're watching this, my DMs are open. Please slide into them. What's your least favorite thing about yourself? Uh, I'm quite critical about myself. Like very critical. Like I don't know why is that, but I keep finding mistakes about myself and. you can say i judge a lot and not and not others i judge myself a lot and i criticize myself a lot whether it's minor or major but i pretty much do that a lot what is the biggest struggle you overcame so biggest struggle it's probably self love like it's not that easy i'm still in the process of it it's not something that you can achieve instantly or like in few days it's going it takes years at that it it takes years and maybe longer but yeah baby steps and maybe one day i'll achieve it do you have any tattoos i have i have current currently i have four tattoos i have a uh, baba i have this I don't know if you can see music note and I have a compass I also have this uh I have this it's the Ouroboros mark full metal alchemist fans you might know what this is so yeah I'm a homunculus 
you guys can decide for yourself which of the seven deadly sins I can be. Leave that in the comments. <laughs> My fourth tattoo is over here. I have a phoenix, a, ge a geometrical phoenix, which, and this is recent, not that recent, but the last tattoo I got was this one, and it's one of my favorites. I'll put a picture here so you guys can see. So yeah, have you ever experienced anything paranormal? I have. As a kid, I actually saw a spirit. I don't know if it was evil or what, but it's, it was a ghost, I think. I actually made a video on it a long time back when I first started out my channel. I will link, I'll put the link down in the description and over here to the video where I talked about that paranormal experience and you guys can go watch it. Do you believe in God and other supernatural things? I'm not a religious person. I don't believe in God and other spiritual things, supernatural things. I do believe that there is some there is something which cannot be explained like there are a lot of unexplained things which don't have which don't have a scientific explanation to or you know it's hard to debunk so it's hard to say that i don't believe in supernatural stuff but i feel that there is something which just cannot be explained so yeah that's my take on it what are your pet peeves people who eat who chew with their mouth open who, who eat or chew with their mouth open i hate being interrupted like when i'm talking i hate being interrupted and that squirrel interrupted me throughout the video and i am getting annoyed the third would be people who compare themselves with me uh in the sense when i say something like if i'm in a situation where I, where i'm in a in an, when i'm in a when i'm facing an issue or a problem or if i talk about myself then there are people who start saying like oh yeah even i face something like this i think if i were in your place i would do this like listen i didn't ask for it i don't want to know your perspective i'm talking about myself let me talk about myself i don't want to know anything about you if i want to know anything about you i will ask you i just hate it i don't like it like, i used to do that a lot like a lot because i wanted some attention <laughs> but now i've minimized it favorite youtubers i don't keep favorites to be honest uh i follow a bunch of commentary or drama channels uh some of them would be leon lush bionic pig uh elvis the alien h3 h3 productions nerd city i also follow tommy c from shot from the point he has a i don't know if it's called if it's a uh, i don't know if it's a podcast but it's similar to a podcast i follow more channels but these guys are the ones i fall i watch mostly anyway i hope you guys got to know me thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up comment share and subscribe if you're new make sure you turn on that notification bell so you stay updated when i upload next and you can follow me on my social media i'm on instagram and twitter my artist potato tata and i will see you in the next one okay bye